Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, if you really want to know what is next in your love life, this reading will help you know that. I will be adding messages from your person as well in this reading, so stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read. It may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest for present reads. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see what is next in your love life. Let's begin. Queen of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Page of Swords. I mean, the deck, we do have three of swords. I feel like you know, there's some sort of um, misunderstanding, uh, lack of clarity that you are having around the specific situation in your love life. Um, I feel like you know, that's your current energy when it comes to your love life situation. There's lack of clarity around maybe a person's attitude, behavior, and you know why are they being a certain way. You're indecisive. You don't know what's, uh, what is maybe they are intending to have with you which is causing a lot of stress and you are looking forward to get some information so you know what you need to do do you need to move on do you need to stick around this person so i feel like you know you have lots of love for this person to be honest but uh with the lack of clarity that you have around the situation you you would probably um spying this person you might be checking on their social media or stuff like that just to get uh, some sort of clarity that you are seeking uh but the more you look into it the more you are basically um putting yourself uh in in a situation where uh you you are basically letting this person um you're basically just letting yourself just dis get disappointed being on that side because i really feel like you know the situation uh, I really feel like, you know, the situation that you're currently having with this person, it's, uh, it's definitely, um, it's, it's more like, you know, you, you can sense that something is, uh, uh, you know, not, uh, not the way you desire, but at the same time, it's like, you know, you more, um, obsessing about, you know, what's going on in their life, why they are not talking to me, why they are not giving me this, why they are not like, you know, loving me back. The more you're going to get yourself into all those questions, the more you are going to feel uh, bad, lack of happiness, lack of fulfillment, lack of, uh, you know, uh, love all around you, because it's going to feel, it's going to make you feel like you are the one who is like always, you know, trying to figure things out in this connection. And that's something that you really have to stop. If you really want to feel loved, if you really want to feel chased, if you really want to feel uh, uh, pursued, you have to detach yourself from doing anything, which is like making you feel negative, which is making you feel like, you know, maybe you are the only one who is like always into this person. And uh, you, you are not letting this person take initiative towards you because probably you are the only one who's always taking action towards this person. So I feel like, you know, that is something which has to change here because uh, I really see you into, you know, looking into their life, what's going on there. And I feel like, you know, that's just going to mess things up for you. So if you really want something to work out in your love life, you've got to stop doing what you have been doing up till now when it comes to this connection. I feel like, you know, the more you're going to look into it, the more you are going to confuse yourself. Um, it's time for you to put your guards up. It's time for you to stop letting your fears and, uh, you know, those negative uh, self-beliefs make you feel like maybe you have to do this or maybe you are all, uh, you are the responsible one to, to you know, uh, take this connection forward so you have to stop doing the things that you might have been doing lately and it's time for you to probably do two, two things either you can uh, move on from this current situation surrendering things to the divine if you really want this person this connection you can do that if you feel like you know it is getting too much for you to deal with you can probably choose to uh, move on to a new person as well but i really feel like you know whatever you are doing to yourself right now or to the connection or in the connection right now it's not going to take you anywhere uh so there there has to be like a stop to all of uh, this that has been happening in this connection where your person probably is not anywhere in the cards here so i feel like you know it's probably one-sided right now for the two of you and i feel like you know, it's high time that you stop doing the things that you've been doing uh to make things work in this connection if you really want this connection to work um let's take some energy cards for your person let's see how they are seeing you right now how this person is seeing you right now let's see how this person is currently seeing you 
how is this person currently seeing you how is this person currently seeing you let's see wow ace of cups two of cups two of pentacles i feel like you know this person can um uh, can be like you know feeling a lot more than what you are expecting them to be thinking of you right now i feel like you know there is a lot of love and uh, there is a lot of uh, emotional attachment that this person has towards you but i feel like you know for a majority of you you are finding it hard to see because uh, you yourself are not in alignment with what you desire and i feel like you know if you could if you could start believing that they love you or they they uh want you more than you want them it will be so because that's exactly what is happening that's what exactly they are holding in your in their heart for you they have love they have emotions but they are probably indecisive to give you what you want uh right now so if there has been like you know um you know even if you are in talking terms with this person and even if you are like you know having some issues with this person where you know you are not getting what you want with them as in commitment making things official them telling you what's going on in their personal life which is delaying your love life with them i feel like you know it's high time that you know one thing that the more you strengthen your faith around this connection the quicker things will happen because this person has love for you this person has a lot of feelings and emotional attachment towards you all you need to do is uh, basically hold on all you need to do is basically have that faith because this person is is like you know i feel like you know the only thing which bothers this person is um hold on you will see this person opening up to you so your worries your tensions that you're having and the way you are like probably trying to figure out what is going on why they haven't given me this and that you got to stop doing that so move on to the point where you don't ask those negative questions and surrender it to the divine where you know that something beautiful is going to happen for you and your love life with this person so you really have to do that because i feel like you know it's a, it's very important for you to let go of what is holding you back and uh, let go of what is bothering you let go of the tension let go of the worries and the moment you do that you will see this person taking a step towards you um and i feel like you know for those of you who are dealing with a situation where your person um you know where you are completely single i really feel like you know if you're worried like you know when will i find one i feel like you know that person is going to come through very quick the moment you surrender it to like you know how when this that just allow and believe and have faith something beautiful is going to come for you it will come for you so yeah let's see oracle guidance for you uh, and what is the soul message for you right now coming from your soul what is your soul message coming from your soul what is it that your soul really wants you to know so you could have what you desire quicker what am i grateful for right now so you have to bring your focus back to the things that you already got and uh, you know like i said earlier if i tell you that you are, your love is going to flourish in coming days to weeks time so what are the things that you're going to be doing you are going to be thankful you're going to be like happy you're going to be ha excited if you are anything other than that it's time for you to stop that adopt an abundant mindset gratitude is the antidote to all your problems it is impossible to be fearful and grateful at the same time gratitude improves our health opens our heart changes our state now it's you can you can do it for yourself for two days like you know just be grateful for all the things that you already got grateful for the things that you're desiring as well like you know thank you god for for putting this desire in my heart and i'm so happy to receive it just start seeing things that you want that you uh really desire instead of like you know getting fearful or you know asking yourself negative questions start doing this thing and trust me if you do it for two days straight away without having a single negative thought you will be experiencing a lot change in your in your love life um today's soul action that you can take to make things work in your love life the universal law of attraction says that we attract into our lives that are on which we are focused so what we focus on expand in our life be that light be that love be that hatred be that, be that sadness whatever you focus on is going to expand in your life so what the divine really want you to focus on right now is close your eyes put your hand on your heart and think of three things for which you are grateful today notice the abundance growing within you when you start focusing on the good times the happy times the love the you know the abundance you will you will start feeling good positive the moment you start thinking negative be that a single thought it's going to lead to another negative thought it is going to lead to another negative thought so the divine does want you to 
do one thing which is like you know think positive believe positive and allow the positive to you know wash away your fears in your life so that's pretty much coming up for you for this read if it was of help do like share and subscribe till i do the next read for you guys take care bye